So the second and final race from Limerick today then is the Mulligan Novices Hurdle, two miles on five furlongs this time. Um, the top one is Crucifix, Jamie Hopkins, Frantic Eskimo, David Robertson, Kingdom of Our Lord, Joshua Sullivan, Martins Music, Stu Gray, Superbad, Kevin Minahan, Thunder Bay, Jim Murray, Thunder, Derek Hinton, All the Time, Martin Leadham and Little Apple, Carl Aragante. So just nine then and away they go. Making their way towards the first flight in this novices hurdle race and frantic Eskimo has frantically gone off into the lead. He's pretty keen to lead that one and is three clear of Kingdom of Our Lord in second as they make their way towards the first of 12 flights. So they will have to negotiate in this race and that's where they come then with frantic Eskimo leading over it from Little Apple second and then Kingdom of Our Lord. Towards the back, crucifix is just the back marker early on. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, and the cameraman's fallen in the water, so <laughs> jump over the second, and let's hope the cameraman's okay. And <laughs> make our way towards the third flight then with that little bit of drama to start with. It's no fallers in the race, but the cameraman has um, fallen in the water. So, frantic is the leader then from Little Apple second as they pass the winning post for the first time. Thunder Bay is on the inside of Thunder. Uh, Martin's music on the outside of that one. And then a little gap to King of Our Lord, Super Bad, all the time, and Crucifix. So it's 2 3 4 really, then at the moment. As Frantic Eskimo leads by about a length and a quarter, length and a half to Little Bay in second. Then a gap of a couple of lengths to Thunder Bay, Thunder and Martin's music. And another gap of about three to the back four, Super Bad, King of Our Lord, all the time, and Crucifix. So over to third they go then. And they're all hurdling well at the moment with Frantic Eskimo taking them along at a steady sort of pace. Got himself into the lead early on and settled down nicely with Little Apple just on his outside in second place as they take flight number four. And they're over that one again without any mishap. And Frantic Eskimo by three quarters of a length to Little Apple in second. Thunder Bay is third as they take the next. And over that one they all got over that nicely as well. And the leading group is now almost a group of five. Almost a group of five and then a group of four now, isn't it? With Frantic Eskimo in the lead. Little Apple in second. Then Thunder and Thunder Bay together. And Martin's music just tucked in behind them. Gap then have a couple of lengths to Superbad. Who's head off the back four with King of Our Lord Crucifix and all the time. Just getting a little bit of a reminder at the back there. So swinging right-handed then now. And Frantic Eskimo continues to lead for David Robertson with Little Apple in second. And then a small gap to Thunder Bay and Thunder are running together as they take number six. And that's half the hurdling done and all the time. Spent a lot of time in the air there at the back and lost a couple of lengths. So race past the water then this will be the last on the next circuit. And no sign of that cameraman so I hope he's got out of there okay as they pass the ambulance. And Frantic Eskimo and Little Apple dispute the lead. Past the winning post now and then go around one more time with Thunder Bay back in third and shook off Thunder now and Martin's music and they've now been joined by King of Our Lord with Superbad and Crucifix then together and all the time just a couple of lengths detached at the back so the order's not changed a great deal throughout the race to be honest and uh, Little Apple is now just poked his head in front for the first time with Frantic Eskimo on the inside still going nicely a couple of lengths behind them is Thunder Bay they gap back to Martin's Music and King of Our Lord as they take the eighth. And they're all safely over that one as well. All the time jumped a little bit better at the back, but he's still last. And Frantic Eskimo and Little Apple are disputing the lead with Thunder Bay sitting ominously behind them in third as they take the ninth. Thunder Bay didn't jump that one all that well and has lost some ground and has now been overtaken by King of Our Lord. Martin's Music's also making a bit of ground as well again now as they take the 10th which is three from home and now little apple's gone on and suddenly frantic eskimo is sending out some distress signals but it's little apple in the lead king of our lord sweeps around the outside and comes to challenge almost immediately thunder bay is trying to run on so too's martin's music eskimo frantic eskimo looks beaten now and the rest is difficult to see them getting into it as kingdom of our lord hits the front and suddenly goes too clear so king of our lord is now two lengths clear of little apple thunder bay chasing hard in third then comes martin's music in fourth and a beaten 
front to Eskimo is next. It's between the front three, I think, now. Kingdom of Our Lord races into the final two furlongs with a lead of about two and a half, three lengths to Thunder Bay in second. Over the second last they go, and Thunder Bay jumps in better. Kingdom of Our Lord now being pressed by Thunder Bay. It's Kingdom of Our Lord and Thunder Bay. Forget the rest. This is the final flight. They come down to it. Kingdom of Our Lord lands in the lead, gets away from it well. Thunder Bay jumped it slowly into the final furlong. Kingdom of Our Lord looks to have enough in hand to take this one. And up towards the line, Joshua Sutherland takes the final race of day one with Kingdom of Our Lord taking it by a couple of lengths to Thunder Bay in second and a long gap back to Little Apple third. Martin's music for Super Bad Run well to be fifth. So Kingdom of Our Lord takes it in for Joshua Sutherland. Thunder Bay was second for Jim Murray. Little Apple, Carl Arrogante, Martin's music was fourth for Stu Gray and Super Bad Kevin Minahan was fifth.